<coughs> I'm dying. Guys, I'm dying. Guys, we're all dying. It's 2019. I don't have my earrings on. So. Alright. Hi, everyone. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. I know. That was very weird. Okay, Adele. Maybe Adele's gonna make her comeback in 2019. I don't know. So, anyways, I wanted to make this video for a while now. I've been really sick and just like extremely busy. But without further ado, I'm gonna do all of my favorite videos that I've done and kind of explain them. I'll add them here. I mean, here for you guys. All the videos that I did in 2019. My favorite ones. Why it was my favorite. Kind of like a synopsis, I guess, if you will, on the videos that I really loved doing in 2019 so by the way I'm gonna be having um, an update video as well on my second channel so if you guys want to know like what's up with me and what I've been doing and what's happening I just did a photo shoot that's why I'm looking all like crazy um, and done up but yeah there's gonna be like a kind of like an updated video for you guys and I'll leave the link down below if you guys want to check that out so gotta go to let's see I'm gonna rank them like top 10 so the number one being like my most 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 favorite of all um 10 being like yeah it was good it was awesome it was fun but it's not my favorite does that make sense does that make sense I think it makes sense right <laughs> okay so let's go ahead and get going okay so number 10 is going to be Benny Wan versus Beatbox House, The Fantasy Battle. This one was like me just chilling in my living room, having a good old time. Like I felt like I was in the concert when Kenny Urban took off his shirt. I was like, whoo, <laughs> blown away. Oh, my boyfriend doesn't hear that. I love you, babe. Um, but yeah, so that one was actually a lot of fun. I was just in my video. I remember it was very like relaxed and chilled and I just really really enjoyed the whole video. I love Benny Wham. I love obviously Beatbox House. I love all the beatboxers in Beatbox House. So and Barry, Barry Wham, which is... Why do I say Benny? Oh my gosh! Get it with it. Get it with it. Barry Wham, not Benny Wham. Jeez Louise. So yeah, that was just like a really fun, cool, I liked how it was two teams, beatboxing teams, going head to head. That was really awesome and I had a lot of fun doing that. So, all right, let's get it to the next one. Oh, I have to say Napalm because I love the video where I introduced number nine is where I introduced my little fur baby and you guys helped me choose his name. A lot of you guys don't know that, but yeah, um, I chose his name based on the comment section and basically what I did, I generated, um, like that I used like a generator online to choose which comment to name him. And so Napalm was the winner and I was so happy about that because I was like, yes, what? That's like, it suits him so well too. and. He has a nickname, Nene, which I love too, and I don't know, I just love it. He's so tiny. Hey sometimes everyone. I'll go back. Welcome back to. Like, I'm watching it now, but like, sometimes I'll go back just to see that video because he was so stinking tiny and adorable, and I just loved it so much. I want another baby so bad. Another fur baby, guys. I'm hoping for a dog. I'm really praying hard this year to get a puppy, but he was just adorable and so tiny. Now he's just so massive. He's crazy. Number eight is going to be my Codfish versus D-Lo, the Grand Beatbox Showcase Battle. Now, this was like one of my first introductions to Codfish. Um, I did see him, I think, in like a video beforehand, but I've never seen him like perform like he did in this instance, and he blew my mind, obviously. He's amazing, and I love D-Lo too, so that one was just so hyped, and I wasn't expecting it, and I think that that's why it's number eight for me, because it's just was so unexpected and I just really really enjoyed it um but yeah that was that was a crazy battle actually that was like the Grand Beatbox Showcase Battle 2018 the final one so that was a pretty cool one for real for real guys number seven number seven is always like my lucky number I don't know why I think it's a lot of people's lucky number but number seven definitely is one of my lucky numbers number seven I'm gonna say is definitely Trung Bayo Venom um, Honestly, I think I, at this point, I was getting really kind of, I won't say, 
I wasn't getting tired of, of reacting to videos, but I definitely just wanted to, you know, have something or watch a video that really evoked the same feelings that I had when I first started um, doing reactions because I feel like after a while um, it gets really repetitive in a sense like even though the content is different um, I'm still in front of a camera I'm still watching reactions which I love it and I love well ultimately it's not just the reactions that I love doing um, I love just watching these videos and reacting to them myself or like having those feelings and those like emotions evoked within me right um, and so after a while like when you just I feel like I was just focusing on you know getting out reactions for you guys because you had requested so many reactions um, that was kind of like whenever I was DM or whenever there was comments it was always like do this reaction do this reaction do this reaction so I wouldn't watch the video and then I would just do the reactions and um, I don't know I just got kind of like I don't know it, like I felt almost like I wasn't doing it for myself um, which I'm really sad that I had lost that and thankfully I kind of got back to myself and just watching things for, for me basically and just for my entertainment um, and I want to entertain you guys too guys like I do this because of you but you know I think that it's also important to be true to myself and to just like watch what I want to watch so Trung Bao was actually one that I, I actually was very curious about and I had saw that video and I was just like huh I almost clicked on it, but I was like, let's let's just let's just turn the camera on and see. And um, I wasn't like super ready like I usually do for most of my videos. It was way more relaxed. I wasn't like prepared. But that being said, I did this one and it just kind of like evoked those emotions out of me again. And I was just like, this is what I love. Like I love watching people just at home, like he was, um, creating this amazing quality content um, by himself and he's just so incredibly talented like he didn't need a mic he didn't need like you know sound amplifiers he didn't need anything and that's kind of what I really missed because um, a lot of the times when I'm watching these beatbox battles um, there's like a lot that goes into it right it's not just okay there's a beatboxer there, there's more so that goes into it there's a production on a stage like it's different um, is what I'm trying to get at so number seven is Trung Bio and Venom he was crazy his wild card edition was amazing. I enjoyed watching all of the wild cards. They were so freaking good for 2019. But that was in 2018 that I watched it. So that was that one. Oh, number six, I have to say, is the Carlotta versus Noun. Again, this one really evoked a lot of excitement out of me. Uh, it was two female beatboxers. And I've been trying to beatbox for a while now. And I just know how hard it is and difficult it is for me. Specifically, I have such a small voice, so to really bring that power to my voice, I find is challenging, and they do it so well, and they're so great at that. So, yeah, they 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 are just awesome. So I'm gonna leave the video here. So that is number six. They're just so awesome. They're amazing. So number three, I think for sure, is going to be Codfish versus Napalm in the WBC 7 to Smoke battle. Again, this is where I really got to see the talented, the talents that Codfish had. And of course, I love Napalm, so it was like the perfect match made in heaven. So that's going to be my number three. They were really good, though. They had, I also felt like they had such good chemistry together they kept on like looking at each other and they were very like they just they were great together um and yeah okay number two is definitely definitely my wild card winners or my wild card um videos so i got to see like you know that was like such a great experience just to see all of my viewers friends um, send me their beatboxing videos. I got to see how talented you guys all were and I just got to connect with you more and that was just amazing and I love that I did that um, and I hope that I can do that again in the future because I love just seeing what you guys have to offer and what you guys are all about and that's why a lot of times I go on you now and I talk to you guys and uh, we like will video chat with each other and people will teach me like some of their skills and and it's just such a unique and different and great experience so that definitely is my number two video okay my number one is definitely when I tried to beatbox and learn from Napalm 
that one definitely was going to be my number one video of 2018 because that just opened up a window for me to actually learn from him. So he had um, a Patreon account and I signed up and I met him and I got to learn a lot from him and he even had some like a own, his own videos that he added um, with like tutorials and everything and it was just such a great experience and so that is why it is going to be my number one video. Guys, I think that that's my whole top 10. Honestly, all of them I really, really enjoy doing. Um, like I said, I'm going to be focusing on content that I really want to do um, and whether that, that or not that's beatboxing, it's just going to be music all around like I my heart is really set on making this channel about music um, but also about my life too so I'm gonna kind of be doing a little bit of a mix of both and I hope that you guys will understand if you don't want to watch the other content then that's completely fine with me if you guys just want to stick with watching reaction videos I feel like um, they were just getting too repetitive for me and I just didn't want to continue doing reaction after reaction after reaction after reaction after reaction because it was getting very tedious and I was like, hey, can I do something else than just like, you know, I don't know how to explain it, guys. I just wanted to do my own, like, it isn't my own content, but like, my own thing, what I was inspired by. So I have a few ideas coming up and I hope that you guys are going to enjoy it, but let you know that it has something to do with my new car <laughs> that I'm going to be showing soon. And I'm just really ecstatic and excited. Right now I'm sick so I can't like sing or do anything which sucks because I had planned to do that today but nevertheless I got to do this video with you guys and thank you so much for, for being with me this whole way. Uh, like 2018 was a crazy roller coaster year. I'm just so excited for what's to come next and I hope that you guys are going to join me on my, this journey. So of self-discovery. This journey of self-discovery, because that's what I feel like it's going to be 2019. Um, there's going to be a lot of changes, and I'm just excited to, for what's to come. So thank you all again for clicking on this video. Don't forget to subscribe. It really helps. I'm going to have lots more coming for you in 2019, and don't forget this big thumbs up.